you want to understand it say simply generally abstract classes are non initialized classes abstract classes are non initialized classes so i mean to say we cannot generate any new rules means if you want to design anything directly we cannot add any new things under the abstract class okay means new rules we cannot add new rules we cannot add under abstract class but we can export the we can import the records from external server and we can reuse in the application okay what we can do means we can import data means here everything comes data means it can be a database it can be a uh, coding it can be xml type it can be so it can be rest it can be sap so any code we can integrate with pega server okay so that is import data from external system import data from external system or external server it can be any external server i told you right it can be a rest service it can be a soap service it can be a java service it can be dot net it can be sap it can be html it can be xml anything okay any data we can import from external service and reuse in the application okay and we can reuse in the application see when we import the data everything will convert into pega format okay for example if you are taking some soap service okay so generally soap means input will be in visual format okay just an example guys in the coming sessions we will see practicals so just we'll take a soap service which will be in visual format okay so like a visual url will be there so you will get a url just extract the data so all the records will extract into pega format and then we can reuse those records in the application okay so we can reuse the records in the application so here what how we can do these things from the integration classes with the help of integration classes we can generate these things so abstract the type of class group comes under abstract is integration class group okay integration class group comes under abstract type okay so automatically when we extract the records automatically it convert into pega application then we can reuse those records in the application so in this way so integration class group comes under abstract type and coming to concrete means new rules we cannot create but existing records what are the records we extracted from the server it's okay we cannot modify or we cannot update them but we can reuse in the application okay so that's the reason abstract classes are non initialized classes new things we cannot initialize okay but what are the things we imported from the external server we can reuse in the application okay in the coming scenarios when we work on integrations i'll take some examples okay so like mostly in the real time we'll be using soap and rest videos okay so in the previous uh, means after before three or four years back they'll be using like mq service like that they use but nowadays so mostly they're using soap and rest services they are using so if you have idea about them you can work on any integration application also okay no need to have any knowledge on the other things like soap or rest so just basic wizards will be there <coughs> for all the mapping and all pega contains some internal wizards directly we can use them and we can extract the data it's very simple okay so that one examples i'll take i'll show you in the coming scenarios and the other types of class groups we have is work class group and data class group so generally under the work class group we'll be adding all the design okay so regarding the properties user interface okay conditions business logic everything so all the design will be doing under the work classes so <coughs> all the things are newly added in the work classes okay so these are concrete classes are basically 
इनिशियलाइज्ड क्लासेस कॉन्क्रीट कर कॉन्क्रीट क्लासेस सर इनिशियलाइज्ड क्लासेस सो एनी न्यू रूल्स इफ वांट टू जनरेट इन द एप्लीकेशन ओके न्यू रिकॉर्ड्स इफ वांट टू क्रिएट इन द एप्लीकेशन we can add new records in application under concrete classes okay so new records we can add in application under concrete classes and depend upon the class inheritance you can reuse also okay all the data class records we can reuse in the application and from if coming to the work class from parent to parent to sub classes we can reuse okay even in concrete classes also reusability will work okay if you take a data class all the data tables we can reuse anywhere in the application and coming to work classes so what are work classes here so all these are work classes and coming to the reusability here from parent to sub classes we can reuse okay from parent to sub classes reusability will work but sub class to sub class reusability will not work okay here you have to note one thing from paytm any records added in the paytm we can reuse only within the paytm okay any records you created in the paytm okay we can reuse only under the paytm class we cannot reuse in the sample but anything created in the parent class we can reuse in all the sub classes okay so there is only limitation here from the parent class we can reuse records in all the sub classes but sub class to sub class reusability will not work okay except this in all the cases reusability will work from data class to work class reusability will work okay integration class to work classes and data classes reusability will work okay and only within the sub classes reusability will not work okay from parent to work class reusability will be there okay so like this so any new records if you want to add in the application we can add in the concrete class so work and data are categorized as concrete types okay work class group and data class group comes under concrete type if you want to check the uh, back end thing means it is already generated in the application all the work classes are already generated in in the coming sessions will be class group is there but under the class group we have to add the tables right okay so right now data class group is not a data class okay when you add a table then it is called as a data class so right now so these are all work classes so loans paytm and sampler work classes okay if you want to see the structure of this okay if you open any sub class here so generally class is already generated in the application okay so by default as part of application class is already generated in the application if you want to check the type of class it is which type of class it is okay generally class is a rule which comes under sys admin rule type see why we have sys admin by default means because class rule is already generated here okay so already generated right so we can see the sys admin rule type and under that you can see the class type okay so this is the name of our class work type and loans if you open this one no need to modify just if you want to see you can see the structure of that class no need to modify anything here just you can see the structure so the type of class is concrete similarly if you open the parent class also you can see the type as concrete and data classes i will show you okay so data classes after the creation i will show you okay all these data classes are also if you open you can see the type as is a class group okay so but there is again one difference is there when you see the parent class again there are again concrete contains again three types 